Welcome to scenario three of our NEV SFWA presentations. This scenario is the capturing of actions and timings of the maintenance process. I will show you how NEV allows a user to book onto a work card, add spares, replace a component, book off a work card, complete, inspect and close a work card. In a previous scenario, we ran a due list for an aircraft and produced both jobs and work cards. Plan Air has been used to flow the work pack and we are now ready to proceed with actually carrying out the work. The work card, when printed, includes a header page containing a barcode with the additional documents attached so that the engineer has all the instructions he needs in a single document. The barcode can be used for all clocking details. The user is able to book onto a card using the book onto work card function, entering the employee ID and the work cards that they're about to work on. Posting the details will start the clocking on the entered details and make the work card status change from planned to open. During the work it is possible to add additional spares to the work card. This will ensure that the exact costings can be tracked. From the aircraft card, we can record component installation, component removal, or component removal and install. Entering the component change function, the required removal item is entered. Removal information is then needed to be entered. We can enter the job and job number that has requested that this part needs to be replaced. The installation items need to be the same as the removal. The serial number will be for the same item that is either serviceable or new and is in stores. The current life limits on the installation are shown and the user must confirm that the data has been verified. After posting details, there is an option to print a component chain form. This may be used for tracking information or manual verification. Once we have finished working on a card, we can book off a work card either by booking off all our work cards 
or by booking of all employees of a single card. The total time booked on this card is shown on the work card. The card status can then be set to complete. Once the work has been checked and the card status can be changed to inspected, at this point you may no longer book onto the card. After all documentation has been checked and the card status may be set to closed, this will apply the compliance of the task in the tech records and the life limits will be updated accordingly. If a card has no bookings and is no longer required, then the status can be set to cancelled. If the card status has been incorrectly set, then the user can reopen the card or change the status. So to sum up, we have now captured the data we need against each of the work cards and individual tasks through simple, easy to use processes. We can use this information to track how we have performed against our initial estimates. This leads us nicely into the next scenario, which is management reporting and business intelligence. Thank you.